Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone uh, I actually was not planning on making this video but so recently I saw a video on uh, on the YouTube and in the video uh, basically it showed the effects of uh, COVID-19 uh, or coronavirus for short so the, the video showed that how Italy's doctors were and, and the hospitals in Italy were absolutely overwhelmed and uh, death has reached a thousand or something like that and after seeing that it, it's, it, it was kind of crazy because I thought that all the reactions would be sympathetic but I did go down to the comment section and I realized that in the comment section uh, there's a comment by a Muslim he said something extremely shocking he basically said that uh, you know this coronavirus uh, the people of Italy deserves it because uh, Italy has elected a alt-right government and whatnot and therefore they deserve it and obviously he got a lot of backlash uh, as a result of that then some Muslim brothers were joining there and saying that you know we were discriminated against etc etc this whole conversation really shook me to the core because the thing is that it is very easy for us to blame other people. It is true that Islamophobia is a big problem, especially in Europe. However, we can't let that define us because this is not what Islam teaches. The whole purpose of you being a Muslim is that you follow Islam. You don't follow what the Kafirs do. You don't follow what the non-Muslims do. You follow what Islam teaches you. And if you're not doing that, then you're not a good Muslim. And unfortunately, many of the brothers that I saw in the comment section who were saying things like, you know, the coronavirus is uh, is a punishment uh, of God, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, to the non-Muslims or kafir for, you know, discriminating against Muslims, or, you know, it's a punishment against China for being, uh, you know, ruthless to the Muslims. However, that does not mean that all of the Chinese people are guilty because their government has done something awful. You know, this is fallacious reasoning. I mean, the same way, you cannot blame every single Italian because their government is, you know, is bigoted, is Islamophobic. You can't blame them for that. And from what I understood after reading the comment section is that some of these people have no idea what Islam even is. I mean, these are not like people who are, these are not like David Wood or Apostle Prophet who have like, who know about Islam and yet they lie about it anyway. These are not pe people like that. These are just non-Muslim who don't know any better. Believe me, I'm angry too. You know, th this is the whole reason I started this channel <laughs> is to use my anger in a healthy way so that I can refute Islamophobes with logic and reason and not necessarily emotions and say stupid things like, you know, this virus is somehow a punishment for uh, the non-Muslims. First of all, you don't know if, if it's a punishment for non-Muslims or not because no one knows why Allah SWT sends calamities. There could be multiple different reasons for that. Again, this is another fallacious reasoning because you're using the ambiguity fallacy to come to the conclusion because you don't really know why Allah SWT uh, sent this calamity. Also, this calamity isn't just affecting the non-Muslims, it's also affecting Muslims. So how can you say that this is a punishment for only for non-Muslims because Muslims are also being affected by this. So this is such a stupid argument and such a stupid assessment to make. I feel like some of the brothers need to remember that Islam teaches us to forgive. It doesn't teach us to hate. Because in the Quran, Allah SWT says uh, in chapter 13, uh, verse number 22, uh, in Surah ar rath Allah SWT says, Those who are patient, seeking the uh, countenance uh, of their Lord and establish prayer and spend from what we have provided for them secretly and publicly and repel evil with good, for those will have the good end. So what does this mean? So let's read the tafsir. So Ibn Abbas says uh, regarding this verse, chapter 13, verse number 22, uh, such as reserve in fulfilling the commands of Allah and in bearing misfortune, uh, in seeking their Lord's uh, countenance, in pursuit of their Lord's uh, good pleasure, and are regular in prayer, and perform the five daily prayers, and spend of that which we bestow upon them, and give elms from that which we have given them sec uh, secretly such that none knows it except Allah SWT, and openly in front of the people and overcome evil with good which means they face evil speech with good speech the reward of those who fit the description above in his saying but only man of understanding in overcome evil with good to those people will be the 
sequel of the heavenly home, paradise. Which means people who will enter paradise, they will repel evil with good. Which means when people say something bad to them, they will say something good to them in return. Which means that when these Islamophobes, when they say something evil uh, about our Prophet or when, about Allah SWT, we should be kind to them and we should respond to them in kindness. So this is absolutely wrong when you insult these non-Muslims uh, when they have literally nothing to do with you know their government. Now I know that in Italy, there's a right-wing government and I understand that and I understand that there are a lot of Islamophobes but again it's fallacious to assume that just because some people or even if even if a lot of people have decided to vote for a certain party doesn't mean that they're all evil people they could just be misinformed so our job is to be kind to them instead of saying things like you know they're being punished by Allah SWT we should be kind to them and pray for them so that they can know about Islam so they can turn towards Islam instead of wishing or being happy at people's despair because this is not Islam teaches Islam teaches us that even if when people are being mean to us we have to be kind to them and even Kathir also says the same thing in his tafsir and he says that and repel evil with good. Again, he describes the people who go to heaven as in they resist evil with good conduct. When the people harm them, they face their harm with good patience, forbearing forgiveness and pardon. Allah said in another ayah, that rebel the evil with one which is better than verily he between whom and you there was en uh, enmity will become as though he was a close friend. But none is granted it except those who are patient and none is granted it except the owner of the great portion in this world. Uh, you can read about this in chapter 41, 34 to 35. This is why Allah states here that those who have these qualities, the blessed ones, will earn their final home, which he explained next, Adam Gardens, which means the heaven or everlasting life. So it is not allowed for us Muslims to be so condescending and so hateful that we curse people who are sick. You know, these people are sick. They didn't choose to be sick. And many of these people are not even Islamophobes. Many of these are just innocent people. And they're facing this, this, this calamity together with us. So we shouldn't be so hateful that we're insulting their sick people. This is disgusting. And I feel like a, a lot of Muslims are behaving in this way. As in like whenever something bad happens to non-Muslim, they think that it's somehow a good thing. No, it is not a good thing. Okay, when Allah sends tests, it just doesn't, it doesn't just affect non-Muslims. It also affects Muslims. So we have to be careful when we say, when we when people become you know happy when other people become miserable this is not what islam teaches us so i know this is difficult and i know this is hard because trust me it's hard for me too but the truth is i know that islamophobia exists and i know that a lot of muslims in the western countries face a lot of discrimination but that is not an excuse for us to reject the teachings of islam we have to be better than them that's the whole point of being a muslim we have to be better than the islamophobes this is what islam is teaching us so and this is what I the message I wanted to pass on and with that I'm gonna end the video um, again my I'm work I'm started working on my next video which will be a repetition of Ben Shapiro inshallah <laughs> uh, Ben Shapiro in case you don't you guys don't know is an alt-right uh, political activist he insult Muslims and Islam in in, a, in many of his videos he's a Zionist Israeli supporter uh, and he he made a video where he basically lied about the Muslim population and you know just spreading Islamophobia in general and he lies so much that I felt like I had to make a video on it so inshallah that video will come soon and I know that uh, uh, the coronavirus is uh, becoming a pandemic and it's a, a lot of people are scared have faith in Allah and be patient and please please be kind to the non-Muslims and with that, I'll end the video. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And stay safe everyone and wash your hands. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video inshallah.